without the tape library, you wouldn't have had a channel going on air. So every single piece of music that was played was on a tape, and that tape was in our library on numer numerical order, the 40, 50,000 tapes. So we had to know where they were at all times. And they were, there was one copy which had to stay in the library, which was the A copy, and the B copy could go out to edits, um, which could be down in town or in air studios where we worked. Um, so we'd be packaging bags of tapes together every day. There might be 12 edits going on, and we'd send them off to town to, to different places on motorbikes. And sometimes we'd get the tapes back, and sometimes we wouldn't. So then we'd have to find out where those tapes were. And on occasion, both the A and the B copy would go missing. And then we used to have to get the hard copy, which was on one inch, from Security Archives, which was in a tube tunnel underneath Tottenham Court Road. So we'd have to request the tape to be brought up to us, send it up to the machine room and get it dubbed off, um, sometimes with minutes to go to get it on air. And if we didn't have the tape, we'd have to authorise who was going to exchange for another piece of music, which caused a lot of problems. So it was quite high tension in the library. It wasn't a kind of relaxed, laid back job. It was, um, yeah, pretty full on a lot of the time. Yeah. <laughs>